I want to share with you what we're working on here. Now, this is by no means perfect, um, but uh, utilizing the Moodle database, we were able to do a flashcard type setup. And I want to share with you what we have so far. This is only uh, you know a couple hours into development here, and we're just kind of tinkering with some things. But uh, this is just a dummy course that I have here. And this is the database activity. And when we go to view single, I have this uh, area here. We have some buttons, toggle, random card. Um, what color is the sky? Well, it is blue. As you can see, it kind of uh, uses some CSS trickery to kind of rotate this box here. Now you can control what colors they are. Um, here's the button. So you can toggle the button just by clicking or you can load a random card. Now this one I have a lot of text. As you can see at the very bottom the text is cut off. For the question or the initial uh, the front side of the card it can only be this height. However on the back side you can add a longer definition and it will scroll. So it'll automatically add a little toolbar and you can scroll the text up and down. Um, the random card will actually uh, load through any one of the items that you've added. So when you go to add an entry right here you type in your text, you type in your answer, and you save it. So here I've typed in the question, I've typed in my answer, and here it is. So you can, by scrolling over the box, it will flip. Otherwise, you can flip it using the button, and you can randomize it. Now, here's one of the nice things that we did, is we also added an anchor. So if you load a random card, it's going to automatically focus the page on this area here. So even though... the you know, so we wanted to eliminate scrolling. And so let me just kind of dive into the technical areas here. In the database templates, we have the single template, um, but where we really did some work were in the last two templates, the CSS template and the JavaScript template. I think these are way underutilized. Uh, I actually didn't even notice that they were in there for the database activity and wow what a difference this can make so I'm gonna make this available as a, a database uh, template you'll be able to download this and uh, install it on your Moodle site if you want to change the size of the flash the flashcards you can do so here if you want to change the background color I pulled these out of the CSS code so that they're easy enough to change and that's pretty much all you'd actually want to change for this um, and then we also did some JavaScript to put in the random button so what it does is it goes through and it looks at your list and it'll pull a random one and show that to you so again this is uh, from Dearborn Public Schools and this is our solution to using Moodle with some built-in flashcards. Uh, it's a great new, great way to use the database module.